so I ran away from Louisiana. I was able to get to California, and um, and I stayed, and I got here and moved in with my dad. You know, my dad's a great guy, but like you remember, he went to jail for selling drugs to an undercover narcotics officer. So the first thing he said to me when I got here was, here, smoke this, it'll help. <laughs> I'm like, okay. Wow. Yeah, so mm-hmm. that was my beginning of my journey with, um, with medicating. Um, but I didn't speak to her um, until my first child was born. I, I ended up, um, I got here and I started using meth, methamphetamine, um, smoking, uh, smoking weed, drinking alcohol. But it wasn't until I was introduced to methamphetamine that I said, this is my drug. Mm. This is it. Um, it there, I wasn't afraid of anything or anyone. You know, it just took away all, everything. And I was king of the world. I could do anything. Going from a broken mm. and uh, powerless feeling person to feeling that yeah. incredible rush, I'm sure you're, it, it, it's got to be yeah. a, a wholly you know, different effect. It was something I had never experienced before. Mm. And I remember the first time using it thinking, this could be bad. You know, I this could be bad, and um, but unfortunately, it just I had no. I mean, everyone around me was doing it. Mm-hmm. My dad was doing it. It was just what what they did. Um, so the 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 I stepped into the life of drugs and alcohol, and I met um, uh, my first husband at um, he was my best friend's brother, and I was seventeen. I was fifteen when I met him. Sixteen uh, when we got married. I married my drug dealer. <laughs> it was a little convenient. <laughs> um, I didn't have a job, so what the heck. Yeah. And, and then at 17, I had my first baby. At 19, I had my second baby. And 21, I had my third baby. Wow. At 22, I was divorced and wow. on welfare, living in Spring Valley, driving limos at night, trying to make ends meet. Um, and all the while, she wasn't a part of my life at all. And but I, tr- you know, I tried. You know, when the babies started coming, I was like, because when you start having babies and stuff, I was like, I need my mommy. You know, and yeah. so I tried to bring her in. But so, you know, her, I say her diagnosis is um, malignant narcissism, which is criminal mar- narcissism. It's a narcissism that is um, that is a little criminal. That's mm-hmm. what malignant narcissism means. Um, and so it was never about anyone but her. It was just never about me. It was never about my babies. It was never. So the relationship was just, it, it, it didn't really, we didn't connect. And for 20 years, I was basically disconnected from her, um, which looking back, I'm super grateful for because she's toxic and she's poisonous. And I did not, I had 20 years to break away from her. Granted, I was loaded, but still I was somehow, some way, um, the Lord was was bringing me through, yeah. he was.